السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فور یو آل آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن وتھ دی گریس آف آل مائی ڈی اللہ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو کنفیگر سرور بیس اتھینٹیکیشن وتھ ٹیک ایکس اینڈ ریڈیس سرور سو دس از دا لیب سو دس لیب آئی ول اپلوڈ ان دا ای لرننگ پلیز یو کین گو ٹو دا ای لرننگ اینڈ یو کین ڈاؤن لوڈ دس لیب اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو ڈو اٹ بائی یور سیل اوکے Now here the scenario is we have two server one is TechX server another one is a radius server so this TechX and radius server is pre-configured uh, it is pre-configured you can go to the TechX server and you can see here go to the services tab and AAA now you can see here it is pre-configured so you don't need to configure this one it is pre-configured and we will just use this key sir uh, sorry this key the tacx key this key we will use on the router in order to authenticate the the vty lines and console line okay and uh, the same way the radius server is also pre configured i just want to show you go to the radius server services and triple a you can see here so this is the radius server configured services is on client uh, name router 3 ip address and this is the secret key and here we are using a radius you can see here here we are using a tacx and we just want to show you again this is a tacx okay right. so here the tacx okay so these are the two uh, <coughs> servers tacx protocol here we are using tacx protocol and in this server we are using a radius protocol for authentication purpose so let's start our today lab and uh, the password and all those things it is already given here for router 3 radius pass 55 is the the, the uh, is a keyword which we used in the radius server uh, server this is the key we use it and for the tacx we use tech p855 we used uh, this key on the tacx server okay so we need to use the same key there so let's start our because all the, the configuration Uh, it is pre-configured. You can see here PC one to radius server. Now you can see it is successful from uh, TechX server to PC three. It should also be successful because all the configuration is pre-configured. Okay. We just need to configure the backup local database entry. Let's start this from the step number two here. So you can check the connectivity. As I have seen, I have checked some of the connectivities. It is working fine. now configure the backup local database entry called admin so for the backup purpose we need to configure local database username admin and password admin so let's start this one uh, local database we are going to configure here in router 2 so this is the router 2 go to the cli and enable and let me go to the config tab here we will directly jump to this one okay exit so we need to configure a local database okay local uh, username and password so local username is username is admin admin and password and uh, let's say we can use a secret or the password secret passwords you can see here so the secret password we should use no need to use password use secret and what is the the secret password here so admin a d i a m admin 2 p a double 5 okay so we use this local detail it, the detail is given here admin 2 and admin 2 p a so we have configured this on admin 2 p a okay now verify the tacx server configuration so we already verify the tacx uh, server configuration now step number 4 configure tacx server specification on router 2 so what we need to do so the tacx server ip address and the secret key on the router 2 so the secret key is already uh, we have seen this is a secret key for the tacx this is a secret key yeah this is the secret key okay so use this secret key for the tacx server so let me copy this one and we are here now in step number 3 sorry step number 4 here so configure the tacx server on router 2 go to the route sorry router 2 and here you can configure the command is tacx server and the host what is the host so the host ip address of your tacx server is you can see here this is your tacx server and this is the ip address of your tacx server so just copy this one and paste it here 
okay now this is the ip address of the tech server and then we need to uh, enter the key tech server key okay this is the command and this is the key okay so use this so this is the key key is and this is the key tech x server this is the key let me copy this key and paste it here so for so i'm going to use this key okay so after that what we need to do this is the step number 4 we have done this one tech x now configure triple a login authentication for console access on router 2 as we know we already enable triple a on router 2 and configure all login authentication using triple a tech x server if it is not available and use the local database see here in this uh, step number 5 first we need to enable triple a on router 2 how we can enable triple a on router 2 so this is the command triple a new model triple a new model once you will write this one it will enable the triple a on router 2 and then we need to use the authentication we need to use authentication for console access for all login uh, lines okay so here just use this one triple a authentication triple a authentication login default okay here we are using a default list for all lines default login authentication default group tech x because we need to use a tech x here group tech x plus and if it is not available then we can use the local database if it is not available then we need to use local database okay local database which we have configured earlier this local database okay if this tech x server will not respond then it will it should use local database okay so now we have configured uh, enable triple a services and we configure the authentication uh, login default by using triple uh, tech x server if tech x server will not respond so the local database will be used okay then so we have done up to this point uh, configure okay now this the configure the line console to use a defined triple a authentication now we need to apply this default list on the console line so how we can apply go to line console zero and login authentication default so now this authentication will be used now this triple uh, a tech x server authentication will be used okay now if you need to verify you can also verify it you need to go to the uh, just you need to exit from here just let me exit and we will verify exit and now you can see it. so this authorization so user uh, uh, access verification so here what you can do you can uh, enter the username so what username we have configured now let me enter this uh, username so this is your username Uh, router two uh, user name techx plus we will go to the okay this is your techx server now huh? go to the techx server and uh, services and triple a now here admin two okay so this is the user name admin two and password is admin two dot pa so we will use this one now you can see admin two this one let me let me use admin two Paste it here and admin two pass. Let me copy this detail from the TechX server itself, and you can see by yourself it is working fine. Okay, now now you can see here it is working fine. So we have done with this uh, verification. Now the next step is. what we need to do so this verification it is done now we need to configure what we need to configure just let me close this one we have done with router 2 now configure server based triple a authentication using radius on router 3 so now here router 2 we configure tech x authentication 
but in router 3 we will use this radius server authentication so go to the router 3 and we will configure first we need what we needed we need to configure the backup local database entry called admin so first we will go this one let me go bypass the password uh, exit now first we need to configure the backup local database entry so username admin let's say admin and password is also uh, ad admin pa3 admin pa admin pa double five admin three pa double five admin three pa double five so this is the password admin three pa double five okay now enter this one so once you will done you need to verify the radius server configuration click the radius server yes we have already checked this one here you can see click on triple a and here you can verify the uh, you can verify the radius server configuration so this is the router name this is the client ip address mean the router ip address this is the radius server secret key and here we are using radius and this is the username and the password and the services is on so now it is verified configure the radius server uh, server specification on router 3 so here in router 3 we will configure the radius server configuration so what we need to write radius radi radi us radius uh, server host ip address 192.168.3.2 radius server uh, IP address and then you need to write the key here radius server and key is R A D I U S radius P A double five. So this is the key which we used in the radius server. So we are using the same key here. Okay. So once you've been done this one, after that you need to configure the AAA authentication for console line access so the same way first you need to enable the AAA on router 3 and then uh, configure all login authentication using AAA radius server so we will now first we need to enable the AAA how we can enable it just write this command AAA new model and it will enable the AAA then authentication AAA authentication AAA authentication login default and the first the group is now this time our group is radius okay our group is radius so we need to write radius and if the radius server if it is not available then use the local database if this radius server is not available then use this local database so we need to write this command local okay local done so we have configured AAA login authentication for console access on router 3 and we enable the AAA new model and we also uh, configure all login authentication using AAA radius server and if this is not available then use the local database with that is why we write this local command okay now we need to configure the line console to use a defined AAA authentication method so what we need to do we need to configure triple authentication for console login to use a default authentication method now here what we can do just write here line console zero and login authentication default that's all so this is what we needed you can go for the verification as we did with the tacx server you can check the result here the result it is 75 percent and uh, that's all and verification is how you can verify it just exit and now here uh, what is the username go to the username here radius server uh, where is the radius server radius server okay triple a this is the radius server okay this one admin 3 this is the password which we used paste and password this is the password which we are going to copy 
and paste it here now enable and under the password console password it's pre-configured here we can check the console password enable secret password is cisco c i s e o cisco e n p a double five now you can see so you can check all the configuration here so show run so you can check all the configuration everything here it is given so that's all for today and uh, i hope this video is informative for you please don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe this channel thanks for watching and see you inshallah in next video thank you